Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick. Hey everybody, welcome back to our Lego Creator Pirate Roller Coaster set number 31084. This is part three of set three. Let's get building. Last time we left off on page 260, so we're going to get started on our main roller coaster build. We, uh, in our last video, we did this little balloon stand, ticket counter kind of thing. Let's set this aside and let's go on to uh, step one and on page 260. We need to grab it's one of these, uh, I believe it's a 2x16 and 216 and tan. And then let's grab. Um, two of these light gray two by eight blocks and this is step two by the way and then uh, we need one of these teal two by two round blocks and the round block is going to go right in the middle and then these gray pieces are going to go um, they're going to be flush with the top edge and then hang down bottom like that on either side of that teal piece and then you should have a two by five stud space on each side and then in step three, we need two of these tan two by sixes and two tan two by four blocks. And the two by four blocks are going to go first. They're going to go along, following along with that uh, big tan plate underneath there. And then the two by sixes are just going to be grabbing on each side right here, hanging off the ends. They're just going to grab onto two studs on the end there. And then we can go into step four, where we need two of these two by six plates. This time they're plates and two by four, two two by four plates in tan. And we're gonna do them the opposite. So what's gonna happen is the two by sixes are gonna go in first, end to end, meeting in the middle over the teal round piece. And then the two by fours are gonna go off the ends of that to lock in that two by six block on each side. In step five, we need a one by six tile in light gray. And we need a brown four by six plate. The tile is gonna go in first. It's gonna go spanning across between those two light gray blocks, right up against the edge of those tan plates. And then right underneath that is gonna go this brown plate. Okay, and we're there. Now in step six, we need to flip this whole assembly over and we need two of the tan two by six plates. And we need a um, four by six light gray plate. And underneath these light gray blocks, we're going to put the tan plates first. One after the other right here, flush against that long uh, tan plate there. And then the light gray plate is going to go over here. It's going to be half connected on the underneath side. So it's going to, when we have it flipped over, it's going to be hanging over halfway. Okay? It's going to look like that for you guys. Um, in step seven, we need two of these brown two by tens and we need two round two by two plates in tan and then two two by four plates in tan and let's do the round plates first the round plates are going to go on the ends of our tee like this right off the ends of that super long that two by 16 plate that we put on first and then after that we're just going to do the ends there's four studs on the ends of these brown plates that are going to connect and they're going to point upwards opposite direction of that other part of the stem of the tee that we did before and then the two by four plates are going to go off the ends of that they're just connected on by like two studs pointing off each end okay and then hang over like that then in step eight let's grab these slope pieces okay these are two by four light gray slopes and they're each going to go we're going to flip this guy back over again like this these are going to go on top of these brown, these long brown plates. The tall end is going to go up against that tan block, and they're going to slide down with the ends of those plates. So nine, we're going to go with these dark tan pieces, okay? We need two of the two by three plates and one of the one by four plates. The, actually we shouldn't have two of the one by fours, sorry. The two by threes are going to go here on top of that tan, the tan block and the light gray slope, okay, connecting those two together like that. And then the one by fours are going to go on the end of the brown plates, sticking out, hanging out over the edge of each end, flush with the bottom, like that. Then in step 10, we need 
two more of these 2x4 templates. Um, they're going to go underneath the other end of those dark tan 1x4s. Again, flush with the bottom so that they're going up alongside the brown plates. And then in step 11, another two of the tan 2x4 plates is going to go on top, kind of paralleling that dark tan 1x4. But they're flush up against the end of that light gray slope piece, okay? Connecting the two plates underneath. Step 12. First, we need to get four of these dark gray 1x2 plates with the long bar handle on the, the wider side. And there's also two of these dark blue 1x2 plates. Um, first, let's get these pieces with the handle. These dark gray handle pieces are going to go on the ends. One is the there, there's two of money gem uh, centered with that uh, dark gray or dark tan one by four, and then right behind that on the two by four tan block plate, and then these dark blue pieces are going to go right behind that handle piece that's uh, on the the tan plate. Now, step thirteen, we're going to get some of these curved step slopes. So we have four of the dark blue one by two variety, and we also have four of the teal two by two. Variety. What we're going to do with those is we're going to make little arches to clip those um, bar handle pieces on. So the ones that are on top of the dark tan are going to get the dark blue. These slopes are going to arch up and their taller sides are going to meet in the middle. And it's just going to clamp those handle pieces down really nice onto the rest of the build. And then the teal pieces are going to go over the light tan. Like that, same deal. So make these nice curved kind of arch tops like that. See, and like that, and then we'll move on to step 14. We're gonna need two of these light gray one by two vents, and one of the dark gray one by two blocks with the sculpted sides. So let me flip this around, not over, but flip around. So we're looking at this middle part, the stem of the T, as we were calling it before. The vent pieces are gonna go on this brown plate up the top, right, like on along either side, but on the top two studs, so that they're touching against that uh, tile piece that's there in the middle. And then the sculpted block is going to go right down here on the bottom, wedged in between those two blocks. Step 15 shows us that we need a brown uh, 1x6 plate, and we need two of the light gray 1x6 tiles. What we're going to do with those is we're going to make some little stairs. So on, one, on, the, on the brown piece, we're going to put one of the tiles, we'll just stack right on top of it. And that's going to make one step, and so we're going to put that down here off the bottom of where we just placed that dark brown, or I mean the dark, dark gray um, sculpted block. And then on top of the sculpted block, we're going to put the other tile, okay? So we have three steps here. And then, step 16, we need two of these black um, rounded rectangle divider bar things, the barricades, and we also need our 1x4 white tile with the caution tape, the red caution tape slashes on it. The divider arms are little barrier pieces. They're going to go on the sides of this brown plate so that they're kind of hanging over the tile for the step, and the other end is hanging over the vent piece, that light gray vent. Then the caution tape is going to go in between these two vent pieces right here along the top edge of that brown plate, uh, closer to where this long strip of tan is, okay? So, let's see, that is probably a good place to stop, guys. Join us next time for part four. And if you enjoy our video, please give us a like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And you can also visit us on Patreon, donate there. And until next time, we'll see you later, guys.